welcome to my lower body workout, which is just 50 minutes, including your warm up. So we have got five exercises for you to do today. You're going to need a weight, so I'm going to be using a dumbbell. You can use a weighted rucksack, you can use a filled water bottle, anything you have at home that you can use for this workout. We're going to be working very, very slowly and with control. Time is attention. That means we're going to work in really slow, think about the muscles we're using and making that muscle work for longer. So no high impact today, no jumping around, just very, very slow and controlled. Okay, these are the exercises we have got. We're going to use it as part of our warm up today. So we're going to warm up nicely. So we're going to start off with a squat. We'll be using a weight for kettlebell squat, goblet squat. But for now, feet hip distance apart, wider. We're just going to squat. Imagine you've got a weight or you can just squat however you like. We're going to come down and up. So push those knees out and back up. So you can, if you're a complete beginner, squat to something like a sofa or a chair or a bit of reassurance, which would be something like this. So I'm going to come down, tap down and back up. So down and up. So use that if you need to, if you're not quite sure. Okay, let's do a few more of these and squeeze. So when you get to the top, you want to push your pelvis under, so your bum under, squeeze your buttocks really tight. Drive those knees out on the way down. Two more, breathe in. Now breathe out. One more. Well done. Okay, we're then gonna be going into a reverse lunge. You can hold on to something if you need to. Arms out to the side, you're just coming down and back up. Now when we have a weight in our hands, we're gonna go back on the left and reach down with our left. So it's gonna be like this. You can just practice this if you like, or you can do it just holding the side, whichever is easier for you. Two more. One more. So you go down, breathe in, push off the back leg, and push back up. All right, we're then going to go into a deadlift. So we're going to have our feet closer together, shoulder distance. We're going to hinge at the hips. Hands are going to go down our legs just until we can't go any further and then we're going to come up, pelvis under, squeeze. Down, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze, and again. So some of you will get to about here without having to do this, we don't want that. Others might be able to go lower. What works for you is great. Two more. One more. Now we're going to do the lunge on the other leg. So we were on the left with left arm. I'm now going to go on the right, so if I was holding on to a side, I'll be this side. You can go down and back up, come forward a bit. Down and up. If you find that too hard with the hands, you want to put your hands here. Or hold on to the side, then do. Good. A couple more. Up, one more. And this is how slowly we're going to be working today, so nice and slow. Then we're coming down to the floor. Glute bridge raise, we're going to be holding our weight here, feet are coming right in, so feet, toes as close in to your buttock as you can, to your butt cheeks. Okay, we're going to squeeze the pelvis under, squeeze, down, breathe out, breathe in, and again, breathe out, good, and again. Two more, so we'll be holding the weight for this one. Down, one more. Good. Let's just come over and put our hands and knees. Just one more little stretch that I really love. It's the cat to cow stretch. Just because we've got some deadlifts coming up, so we're just going to push up and down. Push up. One more. And hands in front, coming up reaching through and then we're going to come all the way back to our toes, you can bend the knees, doesn't matter, slowly up, okay, I think we're a bit getting there now, a little bit warmed up, I'm going to pull my trousers up to keep pulling them down, right, okay, so we have got 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, you rest when you need to, make sure you've got some water, go at your own pace, any weight you fancy, as long as you can perform each exercise really well with good form and you can get to the end of 30 seconds with that weight, brilliant. Okay, if you need to drop the weight halfway through, do so. Are we ready? We're going to get started. Let me turn the music up. Okay, get ready. 
ready? Get your weight. We're going to start. Okay, I'll go with this one. So goblet squat to first to begin with. Are we ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Drive those knees out at the top. Squeeze the pelvis, squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze, tuck under, squeeze. Down and up. So from the side, it's like this. Down, squeeze, big squeeze. One more. Well done. Okay, remember you go with any weight you've got. The lunge next. So I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. And I'm bringing this weight down towards the floor. I'm on my left foot first. We'll show you from the side. Are we ready? So we're gonna come down. Come back. Let's turn our weight that way actually, it's easier. Breathe in, breathe out. Remember, you can go as light as you like. Get rid of the dumbbells, get rid of any weights, just do it on its own if you're a real beginner. And again, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Rest, good, so really control the movements. We're not rushing any of this. Okay, deadlift, hinging at the hips, then we're going on to the right side with the lunge. Really simple workout. Okay, hinge. Keep the weight really close to your legs. Keep your back straight. Pull your shoulder blades back. Imagine you've got two little marbles under your armpits and you can't let them go. So keeping them tucked in. Shoulders are pulled back. We don't want to be doing this. So that rounding over, keep the shoulders back. In and rest. Okay, right leg back, leaning forward with the right arm. Any weight you've got, or hold on to something and don't worry about any weight at all. You ready? Okay, let's go. Lunge. And again. Nice and controlled. This is quite difficult, you can always hold it here, your weight, at the top. If it's too hard to hold in one hand. Good. And rest. Okay, we're coming down to the floor now. Those glute bridge raises, with or without your weight, just pop it here. Okay, feet right in. Get yourself ready. Okay, squeeze, down, and again. I kind of move my weight up my leg as I go. So I kind of rotate it up, because it's just on a bit of a, because it's a dumbbell, it's easy to rotate. Down, so I kind of roll it. Squeeze, down. Squeeze, down, and again. Four seconds. Right, that's one round done. If you're feeling it already, have a little drink, press pause, and then take your time to come back. Otherwise, we're going straight back into our squats. Let's go. And breathe out, breathe in. So you wanna make sure you're trying to perform each exercise with really good form, and if you can't feel it with the weight you have at home, it's a bit light and you're not feeling it, you can just go a little bit quicker and get a few more reps in. So you could be more like this. Because you're not getting so much challenge with a heavier weight, just try and get a few more reps in that 30 seconds. Well done. Okay, lunge again. Get ready. The reverse lunge. Left leg. Let's go. And up. And again. Down. And up. So go at your pace. And like I said, with the weight, you can put it here if you prefer. If you don't like holding it in one hand, do it like that. Up 
see which way you go. Nearly there. Five. Three. Two. One. Good. Okay. Deadlift. You can hold this down, have a little drink. Join me when you're ready. Okay, get ready. Ready. Let's go. Hinge. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Nice. Since we're still in the back of those legs, I'll face you guys. Hinge. And we pull up. All right, we're going to now go on to the right hand side. Okay, so you're going to go down behind on the right. Hold on, get rid of your weight, it's too difficult. Honestly, go at your pace. Let's go. And push up. Down. Up. So, like I said, if the weight's really light, just go a few more reps than I'm doing now. Mine's just a bit heavier. This is a 10 kilo dumbbell. Well done, you're doing amazing. Then I'm going to go on to those gluteus braces again. Well done. Gluteus braces. Get ready. Feet right in. Coming up to. Less than four minutes, 15 to go. Let's go. Squeeze, down. Squeeze, down. Well done, come on, keep it going. Workouts do not have to take hours and hours. We want short workouts sometimes that we can fit in around our day. Down. Breathe in. Maybe in the morning. Evening, whatever time, it doesn't matter. It's not getting overwhelmed with big long workouts. You do not need to be doing long workouts. Okay. One more round. Are you ready? Back to the squat. Last time, let's go. It's a little pulse. Just to add in a little bit of extra, or oh, stick with the normal ones. Good. You got this. Come on, keep going. Yes. Okay. That lovely lunge again. This may be the most challenging one for some of you. Lunges are quite difficult and it's hard to get stable. I'm going to face you this time. Okay. Lunge. Down. Up. Breathe in then breathe out. Go back a bit. Awesome. Come on, keep it going now. 10 seconds. Nice and slow, and with control. Awesome! Okay, then lift again. This is our last round, remember? So, again, little hinge, breathe in on the way down, push your feet into the floor. So, grab those floor with your toes, breathe in. Four seconds. Well done. Okay, two more to go. Reverse lunge on the right side. Goblet squat it. If you want, you can hold it like that to the side. All right, I'll show you a few different ones. Right, right leg. 
Uh, pull again. So you can either hold it like a goblet squat like this. As if you don't like the one arm. Or hold it at each side. Whichever works for you is fine. I'm up for balance if you're going on one. Four seconds. One more to go. You got this. Last one. Whew. So short, but so effective. Okay, get ready. Two, one, let's go. Squeeze and down. Amazing. Come on, big squeeze up onto those toes, pelvis under. Squeeze that there we are. So squeeze your cheeks. Hard. One more. Rest. Wow. Amazing. How was that, guys? Let's turn this down a little bit. Well done. Amazing. Good effort. So, so pleased, well done, you're glad you, so glad you did that. Let's do a couple of stretches, just to finish while we're down here. First one, we're just gonna lie down. We're gonna relax. <sighs> one leg up. If you can, you're gonna reach round, and you're gonna push your hips into the floor, and hold that stretch down the front of the thigh. If you can't reach your foot, don't worry, just have it here. Push your hips down into the floor though and you're gonna feel that stretch. Relax, change round. Oh, just hold it there. Good stuff. And relax, well done. Push up, feet together, knees out. We're gonna have a nice little stretch through the lower back. All the way push down into the hip, push right back. And relax. Good. Okay, all the way up. One more stretch. One foot in front of the other. And push back. So push your hips behind. Hands on the back leg. Hold it there. Now bring the toes up. Change over. One foot in front. Push back. Hold it there. Bring those toes up. Big, big stretch on the back of that leg, right up here, and relax. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed that lower body workout. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. And uh, can't wait to see you for the next workout. Catch you later, guys. Bye.